<laughs> Yo, we talking about groceries on FBA. Yo, easy. Yeah. J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? <laughs> Step your game up, sucky. All right, so here we're going to go over uh, having your Keepa account and doing your settings, uh, as well as creating the account. It's very easy. You can link it to your Facebook account. Uh, so here in your top right upper corner, uh, you can log in or just click log in with Facebook. Uh, makes it very simple. Um, and then uh, it's really important that you set up your notification settings. Uh, we use the email as well as our, we have our Facebook linked. Uh, so when we set up notifications, so we're notified when uh, there's a price drop uh, that we've requested, we'll get a Facebook notification immediately. Uh, we can also have it sent to our email or uh, to tweet us. I don't like the tweeting because it's public so anybody who follows that account can see um, any notifications that anybody has but that is a good way to uh, see what other people are getting notifications for uh, so <clears throat> we um, we of course enter the email and your Facebook uh, account credentials is just for setting your password Uh, and then, as you can see, it's, it's kind of hard to notice, but there's account settings, which is where we're in, and then website settings. Uh, so this is where you're going to set up what you want it to look like, uh, the look of your Keepa graphs. So um, what we have selected is to, uh, if it's an orange, it's not selected. If it's grayed out, it is selected backwards from what most people are going to look at. But every time you come to Keepa, it's going to save these settings so you won't have to turn on or switch from day to week to month or however it is that you like to look at it, you can set that up. Uh, so we like to see Amazon and Marketplace new. Um, we have the Marketplace use turned off, but as you've seen in the introduction, there is a place to, uh, you can just click that box and turn it on anytime you want. Uh, and we like to look at the months. It defaults to three months, um, but we like to look at what's going on in the last month, <clears throat> as well as having close-up view turned on. Uh, we filter extreme values, um, set to no. So when there's a really high or a really low price, um, it, that would turn it off if we uh, filtered the extreme values. So uh, we don't want to do that. Um, the date format, uh, this is just whatever your preference is, and you can also um, make your own. Uh, tracking settings, desired price, uh, reduction preset, um, you can set that anywhere from 1 to 50. Uh, this is um, when you're doing the deals area, that's going to show you um, price drops, uh, and that's just setting uh, the default to start at. Uh, merchants to pre-fill with desired prices. Um, we have Marketplace new and used. Uh, we're not really looking at Amazon because they um, go crazy with that. And, uh, you know, this is the tracking information. This is, you know, what you want to be notified for. And it's going to be the defaults. You can change it, but it's a lot easier to set it up here once than to having to keep deal, dealing with it. Uh, receive upcoming lightning deal notifications for track products. We have this to a no. Um, you're not supposed to buy lightning uh, deals for resell uh, to begin with, so uh, we don't want to constantly be notified about that. Um, alert rearm timer. Uh, that's just a uh, timer for notifications. Uh, you can set it to a number of days or never. Uh, 
what language you want it set to. Um, the keeper box vertical size, uh, this is the amount of pixels high. We left that as a default of 220, but you can set it anywhere from 170 to 500. Um, horizontal size is full window width or uh, dynamic. We keep it as a full window width. And uh, the default view is going to be um, the box instead of the small button. Uh, show desktop notifications in Chrome only. We have that set to no uh, because we have a ton of notifications in our different ones and we just don't want it to be just popping up in our screen. Um, Facebook notifications uh, does well for us, but uh, if that's something you think you would benefit from, of course the first one in is going to be um, always better to uh, access it as quick as possible. Show price history graphs as overlays when hovering Amazon products in Chrome only. So uh, when you're looking at a Chrome, um, when you're in Chrome and looking over a product, when your mouse hovers over it, it will show uh, a pop-up of the, uh, the Keepa graph. Display product stock quantity for some merchants on offer pages and uh, works in Chrome only as well. Um, we have that uh, set to off. Allow the add-on to gather Amazon uh, prices to improve uh, our pricing data. Um, it's just a personal preference if you want your information to be sent to Amazon or not. Um, and that's all there is. You don't have to save this or anything. It's automatically saved. Uh, and if we go back to, we can go back to our search. Uh, and this is going to be used in the defaults. Uh, and that's really all there is to the settings. Now this will always default to a month instead of uh, three months every time you bring it up. Uh, and all the other information that we uh, set up.